Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. For this video, I just wanted to share some advice to new bird owners or those of you that may be getting a bird for the first time. So let's jump right into it. So my first advice to any new bird owners is something that I'm constantly saying in my other videos, which is to be patient and be consistent. And it's something I want to reiterate because of just how important it really is when it comes to being a parrot owner. You need to be patient and consistent, not only when you try to gain your bird's trust for the first time, but also when you're building a bond with your bird and training them. Just like people, birds are unique and will each have their own personalities. And one thing that they all have in common is that they will only do things that they want to do. Whatever your bird's comfort level is with you, you always want to work at your bird's pace to gain their trust and eventually build a bond and train your bird. Think of gaining your bird's trust, building a bond with your bird and training your bird as goals. When you try to reach your goals, it takes time and effort and requires patience and consistency on your end in order to see results. So if you give up too soon, you won't get anywhere. Every step you take towards trying to gain your bird's trust or build a bond, no matter how big or small the step is, it will only take you a step closer to reaching that goal as long as you keep trying and don't give up when things seem to get too hard. My second piece of advice is to work on changing your bird's diet over to a healthy one. Most of the time, whether you got your bird from the pet store or breeder, or if you're adopting, your bird might be on a seed or a seed mixed diet, which is not nutritionally balanced and really unhealthy. If your bird is on a seed diet, one of the first things you should do is work on changing your bird's diet to a balanced one consisting of fresh veggie chop, pellets, some fruit, and seeds should only be given as treats for foraging opportunities or used as a reward for training. Switching your bird's diet over to to a healthy one will take time and once you're able to transition them it will come in handy when you eventually try to train your bird if seed is your bird's overall diet then giving your bird seeds as a training reward won't be enticing or motivating enough for your bird to want to work with you because seeds is something that they'll be getting all the time not only is switching your bird's diet over to a healthy one good for training, you'll also have a happier, healthier bird that will live longer with less behavioral problems and diseases that can develop from an all seed diet. Once your bird is on a healthy diet, my third piece of advice would be to start training your bird as soon as you can and of course when your bird allows it. Training is another great way to keep your bird mentally stimulated, to start building a bond with your bird and to help your bird build better habits. You want to ingrain training as soon as you can into your bird's routine so that they can get used to training in the future and so you can also use training to help you deal with behavioral or hormonal problems when they come up. When you're first starting out with training, you should teach your bird really basic things like how to step up, recall train, or teach your bird to fly to you and target training. The easiest way to start training your bird is to target train or teach your bird how to touch a target. And from there, after your bird knows how to learn how to do things, you can teach your bird tons of other tricks like spinning or fetching. Along with training your bird, it's also really important that you teach your bird how to be independent. It's great to socialize and bond with your bird, but too much of a good thing can also be bad because there will be times when you can't always be with your bird and give them constant attention. If your bird is used to to always interacting with you, the moment you can't constantly cater to them and give them attention because you have to do homework or chores or run errands is when your bird could get angry and lash out on you or get bored and that's when behavioral problems like aggression and excessive screaming can start. You'll also get frustrated because you can't get much things done if your bird always wants you all the time. In order for your bird to be independent, you need to teach your bird how to play with toys and how to forage or work for their meals. You should also be providing different types of toys for your bird to interact with and explore and have them forage for their meals. By giving your bird different toys to play with and giving them the opportunity to work for their food, your bird will be able to learn how to play on their own for hours, especially when you're busy and both you and your bird will be much happier. So you want your bird to be independent and not only socialize with you, but also socialize with your family or other people you live with. If your bird only interacts and socializes with you, it can cause behavioral problems like aggressiveness and being really territorial over you to the point that they will attack anyone else that comes too close. 
most of the time birds are rehomed because they're too aggressive from not being properly socialized with other people and that's definitely not what you want. Birds will always have that one person that they prefer over everyone else which is completely fine but you do want a good balance where they can also get along with members of your household. To socialize your bird with your family, you want to include your family in helping out with feeding your bird, cleaning its cage or play gym, and interacting with your bird through training and bonding activities. You essentially want your bird to feel that your family is also part of the flock and that they are not a threat. Socializing your bird will also make it easier for your bird to be okay and relax when they're getting checkups at the vet or when you need someone to care for your bird while you're away for whatever reason. My sixth advice for new bird owners is to expect to get bit and learn how to navigate biting. Birds will bite for many reasons and to avoid getting bit, you need to be able to read your bird's body language and learn that you will get bitten when you do certain things that your bird doesn't like. And as a new bird owner, you might not be able to read your bird's body language right away or know what your bird likes and doesn't like, so it's completely okay. These are just some things that you'll only learn over time as you start to get to know your bird. And when your bird bites, you should never ever blame your bird or punish your bird because when they do bite, they're only reacting out of instinct and instead be more observant and ask yourself what you did to cause them to bite so you can avoid doing that in the future. Once you get to know your bird, it'll be easier for you to avoid getting bit. My last piece of advice and probably the most important advice is to never stop learning and continue to educate yourself about parrots and parrot care. Even when you're researching about how to care for birds for the first time, you should always be curious and keep learning as much as you can even after you get your bird because there's always something new to learn and you can't possibly know everything about parrots. The more you learn about birds or how to care for them, the more you'll realize how little you actually know. So to help with that, you should try to fill in those gaps by absorbing as much info as you can so that you're more knowledgeable. I love that you guys watch my videos, but I will always encourage you to read, watch, and listen as much as you can from different sources and other YouTube videos as well so that you're continuing to learn. As you're researching and learning more about birds, you should always get your information from different sources and always use your best judgment and trust your intuition to decide when some advice might not sound right. Like this video if you found it helpful, and to my experienced bird owners, leave a comment down below and let me know what advice you would give to a new bird owner or someone who may be getting a bird for the first time. Thank you guys so so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next one. Bye!